everyone, Polly Wog here, and today I'm going to teach you how to make your own marbled paper. Using your marbled paper, you can make lots of other crafts as well. I've used marble paper to make handmade cards, like for birthdays or uh, other holidays. I've also used the marble paper to frame it and just put it up on my wall like a decoration. You can even cut out different shapes from the marbled paper and use them for other crafts. Lots of different things you can use your marbled paper for. So in your kit today, you've got a container of uh, shaving cream. It's a whole can of it, but we're not going to even need nearly um, even half of it. So you're going to have a lot of extra shaving cream you can use for other projects. You've got a little scraper, a little piece of cardboard in your kit, and that's going to be to scrape off the excess shaving cream. You've got a little wooden dowel. We're going to use this with our shaving cream. Um, I want to point out that it has a pointy tip, so just really be careful using it. You've got a couple different kinds of paper in your kit. You've got some cardstock, just regular size. I cut out some various sizes of watercolor paper, and then you also have two strips that could be turned into um, like bookmarks. And then you've also got some watercolor. Now this watercolor paint is not diluted, which means it is very strong and it will stain your fingers. So you just want to be careful using this, even though it may look like not a whole lot of color in there, that is actually a ton of color because it is super concentrated. So you'll just need little drops of it as you go. I'm going to go ahead and tilt my camera down and I will show you how to do this project. I do want to mention this is super duper messy, so I really recommend doing it on a craft tray. If you do not have a craft tray, I recommend getting just a big piece of cardboard that is flat and then you can just throw the cardboard away after because there will be shaving cream everywhere. You do not want to do this without something underneath. If you do it on a tabletop, those watercolors may stain your tabletop. So please, please get a craft tray or a giant platter or a big piece of cardboard or something that can get messy and be thrown away or be washed off after. Okay, so you can see that I've got my tray ready. I've got my papers off to the side. Now I've got my color just in little pipettes. I showed you those little bottles you have in your kit. I just didn't want to get a couple more messy, so I'm just using pipettes for mine, but it's the same colors that are in your kit. So you're going to start by getting your tray or whatever surface you have ready. It's just flat and clean and ready to go. And then you're just going to put some shaving cream on there. Now, if you want a good amount so that it's covering most of the tray, but you don't need to use the whole bottle. And even this amount that I'm getting out is going to be way more than we need. So now that I have it like that, I'm actually just going to use my scraper tool and very gently, I don't want to scrape up too much, but I'm just going to try and flatten it down a little bit. Just so I have a better idea of how much I'm working with. And like I said, you can see this is a ton of shaving cream. It's going to be really fun to put my hands in, but I am going to wait until I need to get my hands dirty. Now I'm taking my, scra my scraping tool and I'm scraping off any excess shaving cream. And that's because later when we need to scrape from our paper, we don't want this to be super messy. So I'm going to set this guy off to the side and now I'm going to start adding my color. There's no wrong way to add color. You can add all three colors. You can add one color. You can add two colors. It doesn't really matter how much of each color you choose. I recommend being um, cautious with how much you do. So you don't want to empty your whole carton in just one go. It'll end up being a lot more colorful than you want. So you're just going to drop little spouts of color all around. I am going to use all three. So you have blue, purple, and some green in your kit. And right now you can see they're just like blobs of color. And then you're going to take your wooden dowel and you're just going to start going back and forth, different directions, making that paint get all mixed together. You can see some little designs are coming into that. Whatever design is down here on this is what is going to transfer on to my paper. It's got a little more purple because I actually used a lot more green than I intended. And then I'm just going to once again back and forth a little bit. I don't want to mix it too much. So this is pretty much as much as I want it to be mixed. Now I'm going to take a piece of my paper and I'm going to gently put it on top and gently press down so that I get that color and that shaving cream onto the paper. Okay, now I'm just going to peel it off. 
you can see that it changes the way it looks down here. And you can see that on my paper, it looks like this. So now is where I'm gonna use my scraping tool and I'm going to scrape it off. So I'm doing mine just on my tabletop, which I know I didn't recommend for you guys, but I don't wanna set it right back down on that same tray. So I'm just gonna scrape by holding my paper with one hand and using my other hand to scrape off the extra shaving cream. So the extra shaving cream is off now. And now you can see that beautiful marbly paper that's underneath. So I'll show you that one more time. You can see my tray is like this. To reset my tray, I'm gonna squeeze off that extra over there. And then I'm gonna use my dowel. And I'm just gonna quickly redesign it by just swirling it together just so that color is back on the top. So it just looks like that now. Set my dowel to the side, get my next piece of paper, press down gently. Wanna make sure that color gets all over the paper. Peel it up from the top so it looks like that. And then I'm just gonna use my scraping tool to scrape it off from the top. And you can see that once again, I have a super beautiful marbled paper. Now, I did not add more color in between. You can see that I still have a ton of shaving cream to work with, and I have more color involved. Now, if I wanted to add more color, what I would do is I would just use my, my tool to maybe scrape it around, mix it up, put the scraping tool off to the side, and then I would add more color and do the same thing all over again. So you can see I added my color crazy this time. I wasn't so careful to add it just in different little spots. That's okay if you do it that way. It's just gonna be more colorful. So I'm just taking my dowel now, mixing this all together. Now I'm gonna take my big piece of paper. I'm gonna press it down. Okay, you got shaving cream everywhere, just like you will too. I'm gonna peel that piece of paper back. Ooh, this one's gonna be really pretty. Oh, I see that I missed a spot on the bottom. So I'm just gonna press back down. You wanna be sure to get your whole paper covered with the shaving cream. All right, now I've got my paper that looks like this. I'm gonna take my scraper tool, make sure it's nice and cleaned off. And then starting from one top going downwards, I am just going to hold onto my paper with a few fingers and use my other hand to scrape off all that extra shaving cream. Now you can also wait till the shaving cream dries, but I have found it's easier to work with when the shaving cream is wet. If the first time you scrape it, it didn't all the way come off, you're gonna try and just scrape it again. So you're just gonna do that same motion and it won't affect the image that's on here. So if you keep scraping, it won't, it won't hurt the image. Um, now, if your paper gets really wet, you just wanna be careful that it doesn't rip. And that is how you make marbled paper. All right, everyone, this is one of my favorite projects and I hope you have a ton of fun making different things out of it. You can make cards, you can make crafts, you can make something for your wall, make something for your mom, your dad, your grandma, your uncle, your neighbor. There's really no wrong way to do marbled paper and I hope you had a lot of fun doing this mini lesson. I'll see you for the next one. Bye-bye.